Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Saturday, March 23rd, 2024. May the good Lord be with you today and I pray that his blessing will be poured out on your life one more time. Our reading today comes to us from Genesis chapter 4 and we will read from verses 1 to 16. And it says, And Adam knew Eve his wife, and she conceived, and bare Cain, and said, I have gotten a man-child from the Lord. And she again bare his brother Abel, and Abel was a keeper of sheep, but Cain was a tiller of the ground. And in process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the Lord. And Abel, he also brought of the firstlings of his flock and of the fat thereof. And the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering. But unto Cain and to his offering he had not respect. And Cain was very wroth, and his countenance fell. And the Lord said unto Cain, why art thou wrought, and why is thy countenance falling? If thou doest well, shall thou not be accepted? And if thou doest not well, sin lieth at the door. And unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. And Cain talked with Abel his brother, and it came to pass, when they were in the field, that Cain rose up against Abel his brother, and slew him. And the Lord said unto Cain, Where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I know not, am I my brother's keeper? And he said, What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground. And now art thou cursed from the earth, which hath opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand. When thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth heal unto thee her strength. A fugitive and a vagabond shalt thou be in the earth. And Cain said unto the Lord, My punishment is greater than I can bear. Behold, thou hast driven me out this day from the face of the earth, and from thy face shall I be ill, and I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth. And it shall come to pass that everyone that findeth me shall slay me. And the Lord said unto him, Therefore, Whosoever slayeth Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord set a mark upon Cain, lest any finding him should kill him. 16 and last. And Cain went out from the presence of the Lord, and dwelt in the land of Nod, on the east of Eden. Amen. We give God thanks this morning for his holy word. From the story of Cain and Abel in Genesis 4. There is a lesson for us to learn. What is that lesson? The lesson is that we must be obedient to God. And also that we can't give to God what we please. We must give to God what He asks of us. Now, let's take a step back into the story. Cain and Abel, they were children of Adam and Eve. Cain was the firstborn, Abel was the second and Cain was a farmer and Abel as we read he was a shepherd and so one day they were offering sacrifices Abel he brought his sacrifice which was the best of his herd and Cain he brought the best of his crop now is that what the Lord asked for no according to scripture we know that in the sacrificial system, the acceptable offering is one where blood is spilled or a lamb is, is sacrificed, correct? But here Cain, instead of bringing a lamb, he brought fruits and vegetables. And yes, he brought the best of what he had because we must give God the best, but he was not obedient to God. And I know you might be saying, but he was a a farmer he didn't have a herd and stuff like that but he was a part of a family who had a herdsman in it or a shepherd he, sh he could have traded his fruit and vegetable and get a lamb from his brother or he could have asked his brother for a lamb 
whatever the case is. But he should have brought the lamb because that's what the Lord wanted. And Cain and Abel grew up in a Christian home. So they knew what was acceptable and what was not. But I guess just like, you know, children of this day and age, when they reach a certain age, they want to do what they want to do. But that's a story for another time. So when they came and they offered this sacrifice, the Lord accepted Abel's sacrifice and he rejected Cain's sacrifice. Cain was upset. He was angry because he was like, why? I gave you the best. Yes, you did. But you did not give God what he asked for. And so the Lord asked him, why are you upset? If you did what I ask, I would have blessed your offering. So how are you upset when you are the one that is disobedient? So it was, so God was like, you, you shouldn't be upset. I am the one who should be upset. You, you disobeyed me and you did not follow, follow my instruction. And so he got jealous of his brother because what? His offering was accepted and his was rejected. One day while he and his brother was out in the field, the scripture say he rose up against his brother and slew him. So he killed his brother just because his brother was faithful and his brother did the right thing. And what his brother did show up is iniquity. So this is something that we should pay attention to. to. Doing the right thing sometime will make people angry at you. But you must do the right thing still. And also, you can't give to God what you want to give to God. You must give to God what He asks of you. So, obedience is the key here. The Bible says that obedience is better than sacrifice. And that's what Cain missed. He what? Offered sacrifice, yes. But what? He was not obedient. And so God rejected his offering. And that is something that we should pay keen attention to. God is expecting us to be obedient, not to come and to offer sacrifice. Understand? And so may we look at this lesson and may we take the lesson that is needed from this story and apply it to our own life. So for those of us who believe that we can invent our own style of worship and all of these things, it doesn't work that way. We must follow God's outline of what He wants from us. Remember, you are coming before an holy God and you and I must show respect to God. Obedience, as I said, is better to obey than to bring offerings and sacrifices because God is not afraid to reject them. Understand? And because Cain slew his brother, God was upset with him. Right? And he had the audacity after killing his brother to lie about it. How you lie to God? Sometimes you catch people in the act and they still lie to your face. This is what Cain did. God saw that he killed his brother. He knew that he killed his brother. And when God asked him where was his brother, he said to God that he didn't know. Am I my brother's keeper? Of course you are your brother's keeper. We are to be our brother's keeper. So you see the different lessons that are here for us to learn. We are to understand that God expects us to live a life of righteousness. That's why he gives us his commandment to help guide us in the right direction. And if we follow his precepts and his statue, then the things that befall disobedient children will not befall us. Amen. And so Cain was driven out and he was what? He was like a stranger in the earth. The Bible says a fugitive and a vagabond. So you see, the word fugitive is not a new word. So he was a murderer. And now he is afraid. Because here he is saying to God, after God made the pronunciation, that the earth 
will not yield to him her strength. Being that as a farmer, he's gonna struggle, right? Now he is he's afraid and now he is complaining that people are going to kill him when they find him. You are not in a position to complain because you just kill your brother. So how now you are afraid? You should be you should be tough. And we know a lot of people are like that. When they are hurting others, oh, they are strong. They feel like they are on top of the world. But when the table is turned, nobody begs for mercy like them. And that is why the Bible says we must do unto others as we will have them do unto us. So, this morning I pray that we will remember we must give to God what he asks. We must remember to be obedient. And if we are obedient and if we are faithful, then we will eat the best of the land. God will prosper us. God will lift us up. And he will have respect unto our sacrifice. And in our case, he will show respect to our worship. But if we don't follow what he said, then don't believe that he's going to ask you accept your worship. So you will be praying in vain and you will be worshiping in vain because you are not obedient. Lessons for us to learn. So may God bless you and may God continue to show you the way and may you follow and may I follow as we continue to walk in the path of righteousness. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.